An army of crabs is about to invade one of the last crab-free places on Earth. Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is Minute Earth. Crabs have been everywhere lately, but also, crabs are literally everywhere. These super versatile animals have made themselves at home in almost all of the world's oceans, where they hunt prey animals on the seafloor, crushing them to a tasty pulp. As a result, lots of our planet's seafloor-dwelling animals have evolved hard shells and tough armor to defend themselves against these crushed stations. Then there's the Southern Ocean, where life on the seafloor tends to be barely protected, squishy even. These animals don't need armor because there's nothing around to crush them. These waters have long been crab-proof. See, crabs have a weakness, magnesium. Seawater and stuff in seawater, like magnesium, constantly flows into the bodies of most marine critters. But for reasons we don't totally understand, in crabs, magnesium works as an anesthetic. In order to stay conscious, crabs have to actively pump it out of their bodies. But as temperatures drop, animals' body processes slow down, so in cold water, crabs become way less efficient at pumping out magnesium. And in really cold water, crabs basically fall into an eternal slumber. For the last 16 million years, the water around Antarctica has been too cold for crabs, so life on the seafloor has flourished there in all of its squishy glory. But in the last few decades, the water temperature in the Southern Ocean has been creeping upward, allowing a horde of crabs, hungry for new habitat, to creep into this totally unprotected wonderland. And these aren't the tiny crabs you might have seen in tide pools. King crabs are the size of car tires, with giant appetites to match. So now, a marine massacre is underway. One survey found that in places where this arthropod army has arrived, it has gobbled up about 75% of the seafloor dwellers. Right now, the army is limited to relatively deep water because in the southern ocean, melting ice at the surface actually makes shallow waters colder than deeper waters. So for now, the really diverse seafloor ecosystems on the shallow continental shelf of Antarctica are safe. But based on the rate at which ocean temperatures are warming, scientists predict that the hungry horde gnawing its way up the continental slope may arrive there within the next 20 years. And while a new crab-resistant ecosystem will likely evolve eventually, for the critters that are currently there, it will be a crab-salute crab catastrophe. Thanks to Dr. Virginia Schutte and Dr. Holly Bick for helping us make this video, and thanks to all of y'all for helping us crush it on YouTube this year. With your help, we made a crab ton of science videos about mysterious ancient tools, meteorite hotspots, coral reefs, and a bunch of other nerdy stuff. And over on Patreon, we turned all of our patrons into stick figures and made a bunch of personalized caffeine mugs for our top tier supporters. Our shorts channel, Minute Minis, and our food science channel, Minute Food, both hit their strides this year. And as you might have heard, Minuto da Terra, our Portuguese language channel, just hit 1 million subs. All this is to say that it's been a busy year here at Minute Earth, and our small team of artists and science nerds just wanted to take a minute away from the hustle and bustle to thank you all for watching our videos and supporting us through another incredible year.